So welcome everyone. Recently I just released a video out in this pasture right here with some drone imagery and I received a lot of questions from viewers about what type of drone I was using and how I was now recording content. So for starters, I went and got my part 107 license. If you're looking to record any kind of drone imagery and make money, well, social media content for my example, real estate, photography, anything like that, you need your part 107. We can discuss that in another video. If you're flying recreationally just for fun, not earning any income, well, don't worry about that at all. You're perfectly fine and legal to fly, at least here in the United States. Now, if there's an interest in learning about the part 107 license that I just got, everything I had to go through to get that, drop a comment, let me know. We may make another video on that. But a lot of people asked, what drone was I using? So we're gonna cover that in today's episode, do a little flying around, show the property off, and I'm gonna show you the new drone that I just recently got. So quick backstory, I have a DJI Spark that I've had for years, and long story short, it's been a great little drone, but I got so sick and tired of the horrible battery life on it that I have just not used it in years. So I've got a new drone here from Ruko. This is the F11 GM2. GM2 stands for their new gimbal. It's a two axis gimbal, which means if the unit tilts this way, the camera stabilizes and stays steady. And some people refer to it almost like a three axis because it has a little bit of anti-vibration built into it as well. But it's a true two axis gimbal. So I've been testing this drone for a few weeks. I've asked about it. Figured I'd come out here today and take some time to show this off. It's a nice compact package. And the biggest thing I was looking for over my DJI drone that I have was battery life. And I'll go ahead and let you know, we have much better battery life. So think about this, if I'm out here shooting content for the channel, working, got my tractor going, I bring the drone out. By the time I set it up, fly it up, go position my equipment to record my footage, well with the DJI, it was just about at half battery or less and needed to return home and light on the ground. It just wasn't worth my time, energy, and effort to try to record footage with a drone that didn't have good battery life. That drone also was only 1080p, so the new F11 GM2 is a 4K drone, claims really good battery life. I can go ahead and let you know I'm getting excellent battery life out of this. It's a nice compact package. Like I said, it has a two-axis gimbal camera up front, 4K camera. Everything folds out. It comes with two batteries. A really nice remote, a nice carrying case, and a spare set of blades. You're eventually gonna need those. So now you can see the size package that it folds out into. Now one other huge improvement that I didn't even realize that I needed in my life compared to my DJI drone, but this connects to my camera via Wi-Fi. My DJI, I have to plug in a cable here, plug it into the phone, it's clunky, it always loses communication, stops, comes back, the picture isn't smooth, the quality isn't good. I have not experienced that at all with this particular drone. I'm loving the ability to put my phone right in up top here, connect it via Wi-Fi. Now this is, you don't have to be around Wi-Fi internet, so understand, it's Wi-Fi from the phone to this unit. It's flawless, it's seamless, it's smooth transition, no matter how far away I go. I really, really like that over the other drone that I have. So I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna go check out Price. By the way, Price, I'm seeing this thing in the mid 300s with some pretty killer coupons on Amazon right now. I've got 500 and something dollars in my little DJI Spark that does not do 4K, that does not fly as long as this, and it's also lacking some other features. Now my other drone is older, so it's understandable new features are gonna come out, but for the mid 300s, for a 4K drone with a couple batteries, nice Wi-Fi connected remote, it's very hard to beat. So we won't go over too many specs. I'll put a link down there for that. Y'all wanna see it fly, right? Let's see it fly, let's see some footage. The batteries pop in up top. The drone is extremely light until you put the battery in. That's understandable. Like I said, it comes with two of these. Power button up top where you can turn it on, see your battery life. You can carry up to, looks like three additional batteries in the case that's provided. A nice little camera protector that goes up front and it holds up to a 128 gig micro SD card. Now the remote itself has a small LCD screen right here that's gonna give you the majority of information that you need. Battery life, how fast you're going, how far you are, how high, because we have legalities now that we have to stay within. But the app on the phone, the Ruka app that you download, I tend to watch it from the screen more than anything else. It gives you all that information, plus it's giving you that first person view, instant 
instant view now. That's a big thing of the camera right there. None of that lag that I have seen with my DJI. So the phone clamps right in the front. It's just a nice, simple setup. We'll power both of these on. Let's get to flying. That's what you really want to see. And I'm going to go ahead and forewarn y'all. My dog is going to go crazy. He thinks he should be allowed to bite a drone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it took about 30 seconds. They connected automatically. I have the app open. It's giving you a couple things that you need to do. One thing for sure, always calibrate your drone before you fly it. Spin it around in this direction, hear it beep, turn it up, spin it around this direction. All right, it just beeped. It is now calibrated. That's very important. They claim this drone can fly in some extremely windy days. I'll show you some footage I have flown it in extremely windy days. Now with that said, there's been a couple times I've skipped the calibration and I found that the drone kind of did the toilet bowl maneuver. It was not precisely calibrated. Ever since I calibrated every time before I fly, which takes just a few seconds, it holds steady no matter how much wind I've flown it in, right where it needs to be. Always do your calibration. All right, so as y'all can see, the drone is hovering nicely. Get it over here in front of the Ranger. You can see I'm getting a crosswind from this direction, so the drone has lifted, tilted this way, but because we got the two axis camera on here looking at me in the screen, it's nice and level. All right, so let's take this on up and take a little tour around the property. So as you can see, everything is greening up nicely here. Even though it's only March, we have just been seeing some unseasonably warm weather. And as I'm going backwards, you can see the board I just took off from. There's me, my ranger, and there's pesky armadillo holes that are everywhere in my property. So one thing to note, I have found if you pan too much, you can see some slight vibration here. This does have an anti-shake camera on it, but as a result, if you turn too sharply or pan and tilt too sharply, you can catch some of that vibration in your image. But if you go nice and slow like this, Things are relatively smooth. So this drone has a camera mode. It has kind of a medium speed mode and a sport mode. And one other thing I will say, this is not as fast as my DJI, even in sport mode. But if you're like me, you're trying to get some photography for social media channel, or maybe you shoot weddings or other things like that, you don't really need a super fast drone. Now don't get me wrong, this still looks like it probably flies in the 20 mile an hour range on sport mode, but I can get upwards of 30 mile an hour on my old DJI, but I have never found myself really needing that fast of a speed. All right, so here we are going on up in the air. Kind of take a look around a lot further now. We'll turn around and as you can see, we can look for miles and miles and miles. You'll also notice the different modes like camera mode, for example, will give you a nice and smooth transition. It's slower speeds. It's trying to get you a photography shot. Okay, the wind is really starting to pick up, but the drone looks relatively stable up there. Let's fly around for a little bit. and get some footage for you.
so we're gusting winds quite a bit here but this is staying within about a one to two foot circle even with the gusting winds and then it'll kind of find itself but let's see if i can get this landed back on the board right here i probably shouldn't be in sport mode should i a lot smoother operation in camera mode. Now the wind's blowing pretty good. You can probably see my shirt blowing around. Let's see if I can make this happen. All right, close enough. <laughs> we landed on the board. Not bad with a decent little bit of wind today. Now, again, I have found this flies very well in the wind as long as you do the calibration before you take off the little spinny circles as I call them. It absolutely does work and makes a difference. All right, so what did you think about that? Again, for $350, price is gonna vary, but that's what I keep seeing them for on Amazon right there. Don't forget the big coupon code that's right there on the Amazon page. I see those all the time, but it's very hard to beat. I mean, GPS follow along features, gesture features, all kinds of stuff in the app that you typically don't get on drones in this price range. It seems to do very well in wind a two axis gimbal. I mean, the list goes on and on, Wi-Fi connection. And most importantly, I felt like I was just flying forever and I still had a decent amount of battery left. I didn't have to uh, land it just then. And then you could swap right to the next battery. Speaking of the batteries, they charge with a USB-C connector. They do take quite a while to charge, I will say that. So make sure you get your drone with at least two batteries. Three is even better. Now this wouldn't be an honest review if I didn't talk about a couple of things that I don't really like. Again, if you tend to move too fast, I can see the camera sometimes gets a little shaky. I don't like that, but I know that if I slow down and record my footage in a slower motion, I can get relatively smooth footage. Well, uh, the majority of the recording that I do is like that, especially on this channel. Now on our outdoor channel where I'm chasing boats offshore and trying to catch other things, sometimes I'm recording a little faster. So that's something I'm gonna have to live with. But again, I'm not buying a $2,000 drone either. So I've got to keep that in mind. Batteries are a little slow to charge. That's gonna depend on your charger and all as well. That's just a minor gripe. Again, always buy a drone with at least one extra battery so you can continue to have fun and fly. I personally always recommend two extra batteries. But again, you can't go wrong. All those features, 4K recording, everything else for mid 300s. I don't know what else you could ask for. If you're looking for some high-end cinematic cameras and high stability features, well, go buy you one of those $1,000, $2,000 drones. For the type of footage that we record on this channel, I can't justify one of those at all. This right here is going to be perfect for adding a new element to the content that we're trying to create here. That's what this is ultimately about. It's not gonna be on every single video that we make, but there's gonna be certain times that it's gonna be fitting for content on this channel and our other channel. All right, so what'd you think about it? Links down in the description if you wanna go check this out, read all the little specs that you desire there. If you wanna know anything else about it, drop a comment. I'm still learning this, it's still new to me. If you wanna know any more information about me getting my part 107 license and what I had to do going with the FAA there so I could legally fly and produce monetized content, let me know. If we get enough of a request there, I'll make a video for that. All right, this is a video that you requested. I look forward to uh, sharing some new and fresh content in the future on the channel recorded from the Ruko F11 right here. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.